I'm gonna keep it real with y'all real quick. I'm starting to feel depressed, man. I'm all right, though. I just feel depressed because, well, I don't feel depressed. I'm starting to feel down because I feel like, damn, I should have went here. I should have done this. I should have done that. You know, I'm starting to feel down because I feel like, you know, you can't go swimming. You might have to stand in line. You can't go on vacation. You might have to do this. You might have to do that. Can't go outside. It's hot as fuck. Wear a mask. All this shit. I just feel like, man, the whole fucking year is just down the drain. I was looking forward to this year, man. And now we got to go through the whole damn winter again. And hopefully next year be free to do what the fuck we want to do next year. I know people say there's ways around this shit and all this shit. But, man, at this point, it's like, shit, it's better. I'll probably just stand in the fucking house, right? Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Y'all already know what I'm here to talk about. See, when it comes to a woman's looks, it's a wonderful thing to look at. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. When it comes to looks in general, even on the female side, you know, I'm gonna get to that shit too, because, you know, really I just wanna talk to people like, I know a lot of people are going to dismiss what I'm saying and they're going to disagree and they're going to go back to that bad bitch mentality of I look good, I'm better than the next woman, blah, blah, blah. I already know that, you know what I mean? But it's, I'm still making this video. Now, I'm not saying that uh, LeBron James's woman is ugly and I'm not saying it's not about uh, looks. I just want to talk to the mentality of men. Men who say LeBron James it's worth 50, four, 500 million. He could have got her at McDonald's. Do you really think a, 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 a guy working at McDonald's could have got LeBron James's wife? See, the problem with y'all men is this. A lot of y'all men. Your eyes are deceiving you. You don't know what's under that woman's clothing. She's not showing you that. And that is a wonderful woman. That is a wonderful woman. She dress, Look how she dresses. She don't reveal her body, dog. She probably just saved that for LeBron. But this is the women that you motherfuckers claim you can't find. I have an issue with men because you sound like women sometimes. Why do you sound like women? I can't find a good man. I can't. But the win, the men that are actually good, that's too bright. The men that are actually good, the women don't want. They just say they want them, but they really want the bad men. This is the same shit y'all men do. How do you know what LeBron James' wife really looks like? You don't really. Look how she dress. She don't dress to show her body off to you motherfuckers. So by default, you're thinking, oh, she don't have a big ass or this or that. You don't know that. And we just on looks. We ain't even got to the spiritual part and all that bullshit yet. We just on looks. This is the type of women that you men should want. But you don't want them. You actually look down on them. And it's obvious. Because she's not showing her body, so you must think, oh, well, five five hundred million, he should have this Barbie doll. What makes you think she's not a Barbie doll? She's not revealing herself to the world like you motherfuckers want, so you can't even see her real body. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. She's not seeking attention. See, y'all shame Stephen Curry's wife. Let's be real about it. Men shame Stephen Curry's wife. Oh, she just seeks attention from men. She wants attention from other men. But then when you got a woman like LeBron, James' wife, who don't want to show her body like that, now you got a problem with that too. Now that's not good enough too. You men got to make up your mind, man. So you men are in delusional just like a lot of women. You don't even realize that you claim you want a good woman, but you don't. You ignore it. When you see it, you ignore it. I want a woman who's really down for me. Well, LeBron James' woman was there when he was there from day one, from high school. But y'all shaming that. So what, LeBron's supposed to, oh, I'm LeBron James now, and I'm worth 500 million now. Now I'm about to leave the woman that was down for me. See, you men are being hypocrites, man. You are being hypocrites. Men are being hypocrites. You say you want the down woman, but then you turn around and say, oh, LeBron James could do better than her. He could do better than her, the woman that was down for him when he didn't have shit in his fucking pocket. 
Remember that. It's not about looks. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. It's not about looks. See, when I say it's not about looks, all pretty women are going to think that ah, he's hating on pretty women or something. And everybody knows I'm not an ugly dude. Yeah, I'm fucked up right now because I had to let my hairline and all that shit come back. Yeah, I ain't fucking had a haircut in, in about a month. But still, I still look good at my worst. So fuck y'all if y'all don't like what I look like right now. It is what it fucking is, man. It is what it is. Anyways, it's not about saying that a woman who look good it is a bad thing. It's a great thing if that woman is a great woman, right? But let's say this. This is where people don't get it, especially men. When you're looking for a woman, right? Let's say you're dating 10 women. Let's just say a man's dating 10 women, right? When he's looking for the right woman, you can't just go off the one that looks the best out of those 10 women. That Let's say all 10 women like you. As a man, they all like you. They, you. It's clear, they all like you. What, you gonna pick the best looking one? You're gonna pick the one that looks the best to you. Let's keep that in mind. Because to LeBron James, that woman might look like the best in the world. And usually when your man really loves a woman, he don't got eyes for no other woman. He might see it like, yeah, that one looks good. She looks good, but it, I don't give a fuck. I, got, I love my woman. Some men don't get that shit, though. It's all about looks and eyes and all that bullshit. And that's their problem. That's why they're always cheating when they do get a good woman. Because they don't get it. You know what I'm saying? These are facts, man. That's an ignorant-ass statement for anybody to make. And this is why a lot of y'all men get divorce raped. This is why you had these basketball players get a divorce rate. Why? Because when they when they had the choice of dating women, their little dating pool, what they do? Go after the best looking one, more than likely, or the one that had the best sex. It's usually one of the two with men, because men think like blockhead motherfuckers when it comes to picking a woman. And that's why men simping all this other shit. Praising women that ain't done shit for you. This woman don't give a fuck about you, but you praising it. It don't make sense to me. It does not add up. You know? Anyways, man. Shit, what's wrong with a woman not revealing herself like that? And she's not ugly. I don't know where people get this part at. She's ugly. Where? Where do you see this at? I don't see it. You must be a blind motherfucker to think that LeBron James' wife's ugly. You can't put a price on a real woman, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if you worth $500 billion, motherfucker. You picked the wrong woman. Guess what? Half of that shit gone. But a real woman, oh, you can't put a price on that. But y'all men don't get it. Some of y'all women don't get it. That's why y'all think the looks make you superior to other women. It don't. It only makes you superior to other women when the blockhead men only pick women off of looks. That's the only way women are superior to other women when it comes to looks. Right? There is no other way. However, we live in a society, just like men are really not superior to other men because of money, right? But we live in a society that makes men superior to other men because of money or makes women superior to other women because of their looks. But that's not true. And that's why you got all the divorce rates, all the other bullshit going on, because the way people view people instead of how they should view people, right? Let's tell the truth about it. And since we on the... Uh, uh, the subject of looks as a man one thing y'all gotta realize when it comes to these women a lot of these women y'all with your wife or whatever wife girlfriend fuck buddy whatever a lot of them could get somebody who is technically in their eyes better looking than you right let's just say a, a wife or, or, or a, a relationship because that makes more sense of what i'm trying to make they can get a better looking guy than you in her eyes. Remember, in her eyes, because in everybody else's eyes, it could be different. It's all everywhere, right? They could get a better looking guy than you, but they chose you out of them other better looking guys because maybe that other guy didn't, he wasn't packing or something. It could be a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So for men to say that, oh, looks is everything when it comes to a woman, and that's why you should pick this one over that one. You sound foolish. If that's the case, then a lot of y'all motherfuckers with girlfriends right now would not be with them because your woman probably could get a man that she thought was better looking than you. 
or at least you can get dick from the motherfucker, right? Yeah, y'all not ready for school, man. Y'all not ready for this class. <laughs> y'all not ready for this class, man. Right? Let's keep it 100, man. When, when you picking a woman, you yeah, you want to be attracted to a woman. Nobody is sitting here saying, pick a woman you're not attracted to because looks don't matter when it comes to picking a woman. Never said that. Never said that. So technically, looks do matter, but it should not matter overall when you pick the when you have a choice of women, and, and you got five women, let's say five, ten, whatever, and you pick you about to pick one. You can't just say, oh, this one looks better. I'm gonna pick her. Man, what she might not know how to cook. It could be a lot of shit. She might be a cheater. She might be a liar, deceiver, a lot of shit, right? But we all know we live in a society. Where women get praised off of looks. And that's why women, in general, have forsaken everything else that, that comes with being a great woman, for the most part. And they only focus on looks. As long as I look good, girl, these niggas going to be all over me. You know? What about as long as I can cook good and, and be a mother and, and be a great woman with a big heart, these niggas going to be all over me. What happened to that part? That part don't exist, though. My bad. That part don't exist. Just like vice versa, you know, I'm going to say that shit again. Women be like, oh, well, all I got to do is look like a Barbie and these niggas going to be all over me, girl. Just dress up good and these, and because men are weak as fuck and it's true. So I don't blame women. It's you men, right? All they got to do is look good, right? But wh what happened to the women to say, hey, uh, all I got to do is be a great cook, a great mom, you know, a great spiritual person with a nice attitude and these niggas going to be all over me. We don't got, that don't exist, right? Nah, not in this day. Just like when it comes to men, men, uh, men vice versa. This is why women wonder, where's the man that does this? Where's the man that, uh, that brings flowers, opens doors, doesn't cheat, blah, blah, blah. Where is he at? He's nowhere to be found. Why? Because that's not the men that y'all women praise. It's fucked up out here. Everybody praises bad, not good. Good looks, you get frowned up on for good. So men say, hey, oh, okay. So these women don't like good men and politeness and all that. Oh, let me be the bad guy so I can get some pussy and attention. And that's what they do. Let me act like a thug criminal and all that so I can get women. That's what they do. That's why. That's why men are the way they are. Because women have reciprocated to them type of men, not the other ones. So I don't want to be that educated, lame guy. Nah, women don't like that. I don't want to be that. And that's what happened. And that's why you see women dressed and half naked and all that. Because they know that men reciprocate to that. So women got to ask themselves, why am I attracting good men? Because what you're doing to attract a certain type of men you're attracting, same thing vice versa. Why am I attracting good women? Look what you're doing to attract the women. How does this have something to do with LeBron James and his wife? Because people are literally saying that LeBron could do better. Why are they saying this? Because of looks. They don't know this woman from shit. But, oh, she doesn't look good to me. For $500 million, I would get a better looking woman. Yeah, you might be able to get a better looking woman, motherfucker. But you, that don't mean you're going to get a better woman. Understand, motherfucker. Understand. Your better looking woman ain't going to give you better head, choke on your fucking dick and all that other shit, motherfucker. There's a lot of shit that goes into a great woman than just fucking looks. That's why a lot of you motherfucking men out there... The own, own look, that look kick shit. You got a fucking Barbie you just stare at. You pay for a fucking Barbie to look at. She don't want to suck your dick, nothing. Just, oh, right, give me some money. And you motherfuckers is with it. Because you fell for the looks. You thought it was all about looks when it come to a woman. You got a fucking Barbie doll sitting next to you. That's it. You, it's basically the same. It's damn near the same. A plastic fucking Barbie doll. She don't do shit. She just looks good. And you pay her money. And guess what? She gonna leave your ass in the end anyway. Because you didn't pick her off of, off of her being a great woman to you. You picked her off of looks, motherfucker. And you gonna pay for that. How do I know this? Because the mindset of men is telling LeBron James 
you shouldn't have picked her off of who she is as a woman been there for you since high school and all this shit. You should have picked her because I don't think she looks good enough because she's not showing her body. Blockhead nigga shit, man. Think, motherfucker, think when it comes to women or pay the price, man. Y'all men want to cry about divorce and these women ain't shit. Man, man, I'm giving you the fucking game, but you don't think when you're around women, you automatically start thinking with your fucking dick, not with your mind, and that's your problem. Yeah, that's why, yeah, a lot of women going to be scared of men who think with their mind. That's why you think a lot of women are scared of me. They, they scared of me. They know what time it is. When they know they got to bring their A game fuck with me. Ain't no slick shit. Ain't no running game and all that bullshit with me. But I'm an easy motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm not a hard person to deal with. You just can't, unless you on bullshit. Yeah, when when you on bullshit, yeah, you can't get that off of somebody who's keeping it real and know what the real is and know what the game is, right? But if you keep it real with them, it's smooth selling. Easy as a motherfucker. So, you know, by default, only people that would be intimidated by people like that, you know, even women who know the bullshit that men do, only, only people who intimidated by them people these type of women and men are people who try to run shit. If you trying to be serious with a motherfucker, you ain't intimidated for what? You trying to come correct, right? A lot of y'all men crying about, oh, she got another nigga in my house, man, with, with my kids, and she won't let me see my kids and all that. This is what happens when you motherfuckers think, like, on that LeBron shit. When it comes to his wife. Y'all have fell for the fucking bait of rap music. Bad bitch, bad bitch. All I want is a bad bitch. You fell for it. Instead of listening to the music and kicking back and enjoying your fucking self, you have took it to your whole fucking soul. That, oh man, I gotta have a red bone or this or that. And you fell for it. So by default, you're always gonna pick women who are really not right for you. You're always gonna pick women that you think or you want to be right for you. Same thing with women. Why do you think women have so much of a hard time of picking the right motherfucker? They said my phone's too hot. I knew it was going to do that. So I just put this bitch down here. I already knew what it was going to do. I was hoping it didn't so long, but that's all, man. Like, like I'm not against, I'm not against motherfuckers, uh, I don't know how to say it. I'm not against men who, oh yeah, you want a good looking woman. No doubt about it. I'm not against that. I'm not telling you to get an ugly woman. That 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 would be wrong. You know what I mean? I'm not telling women to get with men who they are not attracted to. But you gotta screen out the ones that you're dealing with. You can't just pick one off of dumb shit. Oh well, he got the most money out of the five men you you you're dating. He got the most money. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick him. Ignore everything else. That's stupid, man. You can't do that. All I know is this. I would rather be a handsome dude with fucking a dick that can actually please a woman, you know, versus a pretty motherfucker with a pencil-ass dick that can't please a woman. See, looks don't matter all the time. Now do it. Yeah, the motherfucker might look a little bit better, but God gave me that other thing that really matters. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, you, hey, I'd rather be the fucking handsome motherfucker than the pretty boy. I'm just saying. Or you could flip that shit. I'd rather be with the woman. Let's just stick with sex for a second because there's levels to all this shit. I'd rather be with the woman who is good looking but has the best fire sex versus a woman who is super good looking but garbage sex. Which one am I going to pick? Or even worse. The, the super good looking one don't even want to give you head ever versus the good looking one, the one woman that does. Come on, man. Come on, man. Looks ain't everything. Or it could be one that's a better uh, mother for my kids, a better match for my kids versus one that's not. Maybe the good looking, super good looking one party like a motherfucker. The other ones, yeah, she party, but not as much. Not what she putting her kids first. Which one? This is an easy choice. So what, I'm supposed to pick that one? Y'all think Jay-Z couldn't get somebody who looks technically better than Beyonce? That don't mean Beyonce ain't a good-looking person. You got me fucked up. Of course she is. But Jay-Z 
It's not. There's plenty of women that he probably had or came across that looks a little bit better than Beyonce. That don't mean he should have wiped them though. Come on, man. This shit matter, and 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 women gotta get this shit down because they're the ones who has all these fucking options everywhere, all over the fucking world. You know, you're gonna have to start leaving that twenty percent alone and stick with that eighty percent because eighty percent is damn near perfect. You know, motherfuckers. Uh, uh, he, he he just doesn't look as good as that other guy, but he got everything else going on, and the other guy they ain't got shit going on. I'll just pick him for now. You know, women must understand this. Men must understand this. It's bullshit, man. He, like I said, though, I, I, I hear men always complaining about, um, I don't want a woman that, that seeks male attention and shows her body off, but then you get somebody like LeBron James' wife. Which really is the reason why motherfuckers think her body ain't fine. I can see through a little bit through that. I see titties and shit, motherfucker. Anyways, you know, that's good. Why do you not want a woman? It don't make sense. It's, they sound like females. I want this, but I'm going to pick that. You men are no different than these women then, man. Because you saying this is what you want. I want a woman that's down for me with day one and don't show her body and see attention like lebron james white but then you come out with some corny ass shit oh uh, this is the best looking he can get and ignore everything else about the woman stupidity and she's not even ugly that's what really blows my mind like you stupid motherfucker and then you wonder why men get divorce rape this is why because the way they think this ain't the only man thinking like this out there I'm sure there's plenty of people on, on in basketball that play basketball thinking that, like, damn, LeBron could do better than that or whatever. Maybe not, though, because maybe they see her in person and know she's a good-looking woman. I don't even think she's not a good-looking woman. I just think that the fact that the male mind is telling him to get the best-looking woman that you could possibly find, you know what I mean, because you got $500 million, you know. LeBron James' wife is worth more than $500 million, meaning her in general, right? A real woman like that, hard to find. A woman that was there when you ain't have shit. And not only that, men are looking very suspect because now you're saying that LeBron James should have left a woman once he got his money and shit. So now you're starting to sound like these women that y'all complain about a lot. You know, the ones y'all say to leave you when they don't need you and all. Now you're starting to sound like them. Because you're telling LeBron, oh, well, you should have left your girl that was down with you when you was just in high school. See? Man be on some suspect ass shit too. But, you know, like I said before I go, man, it's because of society. It's because... It's how we are trained to accept people as men and women you know like i said why do men act the way they act why do men act this way or i'm hood and this and that and, and i don't want to bring flowers to a woman i'm not opening your door i'm not opening up to you and showing you how i really feel etc etc why do men do this because when the women have rejected that and they have accepted the other shit. They want the men they gotta chase. They want the men to treat them bad. They want the men to act like these hood or whatever. That's what they want. So by default, men saying, hmm, this is what women like. Let me do this. Same thing, vice versa. Why do, why do women gotta show their body, dog? Why do women always seek attention from other men, dog? Why do women do this? Or why won't women submit this and that? Because by default, vice versa, you men have accepted this. You have accepted, oh, the woman who ain't showing her clothes versus LeBron James' wife looks better. Let me give her more likes. So women have said, hmm, let me do these things to be accepted by men. And that's exactly what happened, y'all. So men and women could only blame their own gender for the way the opposite gender is acting. And that is fucking facts. I know why women show their body and all that. I don't really judge them for it, but I know why they're doing it. Because if men said, hey, I don't want to, if all men said, I don't want to, no, none of us want a woman who shows her body. I guarantee you all women would stop doing that. They would try to figure, oh, well, what do men want? They're only doing that to attract men. That is facts. So the same thing, vice versa. If all women said, hey, I want super nice guys to bring me flowers. And I mean all of them. And they said it and they, and by default, they showed it. We want men who bring flowers, open doors, and it's super nice, it opens up. All men be like, oh shit, let me line up and do this shit. 
They only acting like hood gangsters and all that shit because they know y'all reciprocate to it. And that is fucking facts. Like I said, man, shit, LeBron James' wife, man, that's some real shit. Dressing up to where other men can't see you, only I can see you, that's some special ass shit. But y'all men claim this is what you want, but that's not what you want. You know, you, you just like the women, dog. You saying what you want, but you want another thing, man. You, you're not making sense. Can't You cannot put money on a woman who doesn't want to show herself to other men, who stay down with you from day one, who takes care of your kids. Come on. And she still looks good. Like, get the fuck out of here, dude. But, hey. If you men want to think a certain way when it comes to women, then you're going to get burned, like I tell women. You know, it's, you can like a motherfucker all you want, but if you pick the wrong one, you're going to get burned. That is just facts. And same thing with men. What, men think they getting some type of pass? Motherfucker, you ain't getting no pass. Your ass going to get burned too if you pick the wrong woman. Facts. I don't give a fuck how much I like. See, this is the problem. You know, oh, I like this one better because of this. Well, ask yourself, why do you like that one better? If it's because of looks, then that's stupidity. You know what I'm saying? So if I have five women that I'm choosing from, and, and all I could come up with to choose that one is because she looks better than the rest, that's stupid on my part. There has to be more to it than just that. Or I'd be a dumbass and pick that, and I'm going to get burned for it. And that's sometimes what women struggle with. You know, there's five, ten men, whatever they dealing with, and there's one that they like for some stupid ass reason that does not matter, and they pick that one and they get burned. They should have checked themselves, like, hold on, let me make sure that this is a real reason why I should like this motherfucker over the next motherfuckers, but they don't do that. They don't do it. Oh, he's 6'5. I don't care about the rest of y'all motherfucker. I know y'all got this and that going on better than him but he's 6'5 I gotta pick him or all you men all you four men over here I see you got this going on your career and all this other shit going on but this guy acts so hood and so smooth I'm gonna pick him he ain't got shit going on with his life but I'm gonna pick him because of that that's stupid you didn't even weigh out why 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 should he be the winner make sure that it makes sense make it make sense like they tell y'all make it make sense before you pick that winner Make it make sense. Should he really be the one out of all these guys? Or should I just fall back or whatever? Moral of the story is, if if I was a person like LeBron or whatever, I don't even have to be LeBron. If I'm picking a woman, I am not going to just pick, the, pick a woman out of, let's say, five because she looks the best. That's stupid. I had to check myself on that. Like, okay, she looks the best. I know that you, you care about looks a lot, but should you really not pick one of them other good-looking women too just because of that, just because she looks slightly a little bit better, but these other women got all this other shit? Don't make sense, y'all. And we wonder, well, I ain't going to say, well, I'm going to say we because I don't want to seem like I'm better than the next motherfucker, but people wonder why they can't pick the right person because you got to make sure the reasons why you're choosing somebody to begin with are right. I'm going to say that again before I get off here because I got to go enjoy my day. You got to make sure the reasons why you are picking a motherfucker are right. Reasons. Do you don't get it? Here's an example. She looks good, better than this one, but this one is seems like she has characteristics more of being a mother she doesn't party as much she's in school right now she has a little bit better attitude etc etc but this one oh yeah she got a couple things but she she doesn't uh she's always partying all the time she doesn't seem like she would she doesn't take care of her kids or whatever but you know what she looks better so i'm gonna pick her that's stupid man i'm just saying yeah you like both but what why should you pick one you see I could like a Cadillac and a Benz, but I got to ask myself, why should I pick this or this one? I might like the Benz better, but should I pick it better? Should I pick it? If God gave me a choice for a body, you can have the, the looks that every woman would like, right? Or you can, you can look okay, but have the, the, the sex that every woman would like. 
or something like that. I'm gonna pick the one that got both. Shit. Sex is probably more important to a woman than looks, more than likely. I think, I would think so anyway. Depending on the woman, of course, but maybe that's not a good analogy, but y'all get my point. Like, if I like fucking, you like two businesses, and you're trying to figure out which one to invest in, you gotta weigh your fucking options all the way out. You might like the other one better, but the other one might be the better choice. But everybody, people don't want to go off what's the best choice for them. Because all they care about is which one they like the best. And that's fine. You should pick the one you like the best. If there's a legitimate reason to pick them. I'd rather pick one that I don't like as much if they have a way more legitimate reason to be picked over one that yeah I like better but they don't have no real reason for me to pick them it don't make sense you'll get burned I promise I'm out this bitch LeBron James got him a good ass woman you motherfucking men out here who claim that you want a good woman or claim that you know what a good woman is I highly doubt that you fucking do because you would not be making these type of remarks you would not even think as a man that your money can buy you a quality woman that's another thing before I go I never even mentioned that shit. These motherfuckers act like if you, 500 million could buy you a quality woman. Like, that's that's not true. Not true at all. You can't buy a quality woman. You could have 500 million dollars and never run into a quality woman. It could happen. Not, it's highly unlikely, but it could happen. See, these men think their money is, it, it, is a value, like, I get it. I know why they think this way because a lot of women put emphasis on men with money as making them valuable or more valuable than the next. I get that shit. But that don't mean men should fall for that trap because this is when you fall for these traps, this is how you usually end up divorced and all this other shit. Because you fell for the trap. Just because women out here are thinking, oh, this is what makes men, that don't mean in the end that that's what's ultimately going to make her happy or, or want to fuck with you and nobody else. Men got to think this way. Same thing vice versa with women. Oh, I know looks make a man happy. And I know sex makes a man happy. But should I fall into that trap of thinking that that's ultimately going to be enough to keep a man happy? And keep a man not wanting to cheat on me? Think about it. Just because men are running around, oh, look. That don't mean women should fall for that. Women got to think for themselves too. Well, okay, I get it, man. Like, looks and sex. But I'm not going to be dumb enough to think that just because a man likes my looks and sex, I should pick him. That's not enough to hold a man and stop him from cheating. Y'all know this. So, stop thinking. Sometimes you got to think outside the box of what women and men think they want in men, women and men because as a... Um... As common sense, you can see that most women and men don't know what the fuck they want. Because if they did, divorce rates would be way down. People would be way happier. So you really can't go off of what do women want or what do men want. I hear it all the time. What do men want in women? What do women want in men? Yeah, that's cool that you're asking that. But you got to ask yourself, do women and men in this time really know what they really want in women and men? And what do I mean by that? Some say they want this or that, but then you find out you end up being this or that, and you find out they really don't want you. So can you really go off of that? Or do you got to go off of what really matters? What really matters in women and men never changed from the beginning of time till now. That shit never changed. The things that matter in women and men never changed since day one. We changed it. It didn't change. People's minds changed it. That shit did not change, y'all. So what really makes women and men happy in relationships work has never changed. The formula has never changed. People try to change it up and all this shit and look what happens. Right? Can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit up, man. And, and you know, I'm tired of men claiming gold digger, gold digger, but yet you motherfuckers claim that $500 million by default grants you some type of unicorn woman sent from God you sound stupid now you putting value on now you saying value makes you value money makes you valuable in a sense it does but you should not allow that to be that way when you're dealing with a woman you can't say I'm allow my money to make her think I'm valuable because you will lose in the end motherfucker you will be divorce rate because you allowed your money 
to make you valuable to that woman. This is super game right here, man. If y'all don't get it, I don't know. Maybe you just high or drunk. Maybe it's just too deep for you. But I'm going to let y'all go, man. Can't put a price on that woman. That woman's priceless, dog. She is priceless. LeBron James, from what I see, because you never know, you know, hey, they could end up divorced tomorrow. But from what I see, you know, not showing her body to the public and all that shit, can't buy that with no $500 million, dog. And women like that cannot be bought. Men like, men like, shit, from what I see, LeBron don't cheat none of that. Men like that can't be bought. Why are we on it? You know, men deserve their credit too. So from what I see, LeBron James, I haven't heard of no, I've seen shit that I've heard was fake, but I've never heard no real legitimate shit of LeBron cheating on her or any of that. You, you LeBron James, you can fuck women all day long. So, you know what I mean? Men like that, you can't buy them motherfuckers. And money can't make them men. Just because a man got money don't mean that he's going to be LeBron James to you. Or even know how to screen out to pick a good woman. That's what makes LeBron James great too. That's part of being a great man, knowing how to pick a great woman. Because part of knowing how to pick a great woman is becoming, or a great man, great woman, is becoming one. You can't be, you, you'll never know how to pick one until you become one. And then, why is it, why is it important to know what a great woman is? As a man, you probably ain't going to be out here fucking a bunch of women because you know what a great woman is and you know how hard it's going to be to find one. So you're like, I ain't fucking that up. As a woman, here's, here's one that really needs to be stick in the motherfuckers. As a woman, when she knows how to pick a great man, she's probably not one of the women who have been ran through by a lot of men who thought this motherfucker was great and that motherfucker was great, this or that. Great women who know how to pick a great man, yeah, they might slip up, make mistakes, but not as much as women who don't have an idea of who a fucking great man is. It is what it is, man. So by default, those women who don't know what great, good men are, great men are, they're going to get ran through. By default, that makes them not worthy of really being picked. Think about it. And by default, that makes men not worthy of being picked if they don't know what a great woman is. Because you could be that great woman and still get shitted on by the men because they didn't know what really what a great woman they didn't know what they had they knew it but they didn't or they didn't know how to appreciate it which is another characteristic in a great man any man could cheat if he want but the characteristic of nah i ain't about to cheat on that girl that's my girl man fuck that that's a great man people don't get it though. i'm done talking man y'all got me in man i'm trying to tell you i'm out this bitch